Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Ilav Dabib and today I'm gonna show you how you can make this magnificent endless road, which can be used for credits or any kind of thing, but actually what's important is the technique. So first of all, we need to open a new composition and I'm gonna call this comp endless. It's gonna be two seconds to begin with. So I want to open a new solid and I can call this road texture. And the color doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna put a fractal noise on it. And what I wanna do is I want to go to the transform and I'm gonna check off the uniform scaling and I'm gonna scale it up with the scale height. And maybe I'm gonna change the width a bit. Um, now I want to take down the contrast and maybe take down the brightness a touch. So we have a fixed texture, so let's change that. I'm gonna go to the evolution, I'm gonna all click and I'm gonna type wiggle 25 times a second with the amplitude of 3000. So I'm gonna have this animation. Okay, that's nice. And now I want to create another solid. And this one is gonna be, it's have to be white because it's gonna be the stripes or stripe. Okay, so I want to take the rectangle mask tool and I'm gonna create a mask. And now I want to take, I want to make a position and whoop, let's change that. Okay, I'm gonna put a keyframe on the position. I'm gonna take it out of the screen. And after one, two, three, four, yeah, I think five frames, I'm gonna take it out from the other side. But now I want to make it look a little better. So I'm gonna press the F key and I'm gonna feather it, I think by four pixels. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay. So it's gonna blend a bit better. And now I have this animation. And I'm gonna check on the motion blur looks pretty nice and maybe it's too long so I'm gonna go to the composition composition settings and in the advanced tab I'm gonna change the shutter angle to 90 so it's gonna be less blurry okay looks nice press U to reveal the keyframes and now I can shorten the layer with alt and brackets but you can drag it too okay so maybe I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna take a copy to second one and I have this animation which is nice but I want to see how it looks so I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna put the corner pin effect on the adjustment layer and this is gonna make the corner pin effect work on everything below it so this looks pretty nice and but actually I want this to be a bit longer so I'm gonna take all of those uh, bottom three layers the stripe the double stripes and the row texture and I'm gonna pre comp them it's down here somewhere okay I'm gonna call this a road animation and I'm gonna press ok and now I can go to the composition composition settings I'm gonna change the duration, I think, to eight seconds or so. So, um, this looks nice, but the problem is that this layer ends. So, you can see a lot of people duplicate that and make it again and again and again, but this really sucks. So, let's do it with expressions. I'm gonna put a time remap on the layer, and I'm gonna press all click and I'm gonna write loop out with a big O. And I'm gonna open and close the brackets, round brackets, and I'm gonna press enter. And now I have a loop, but the loop has a little bit of a problem because the last keyframe on time remapped compositions is blank most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go frame one frame back before this frame 
and I'm going to create another keyframe and I'm going to delete the old one. And now I have a loopable animation of everything on the composition from time zero to a frame before the end of the comp. Well, this is nice. And now I want to animate the corner pin effect. So I'm going to go to the lower left and to the lower right. And I'm going to make keyframes on them. And now I can take them maybe, I think, to the left side. And after two seconds, it can be on the right side. Now I can take those keyframes and duplicate them. So it's going to look like this. And of course, we're going to select all of them and make them. OK, so now we have this. Yeah, looks pretty cool. So now I want to add the text. So I'm going to type in endless road. And I think the endless is going to be white and the road is going to remain black. And maybe I'm going to move them closer together. And I think I'm going to, yeah, this looks OK. Maybe it's I can make it a bit bigger. And if I'm going to put it below the adjustment layer, which I have corner pin on it, uh, it's actually going to move exactly as the comp. Well, this is cool. And maybe I can put even a drop shadow. Right on the layer and I think I'm going to take it um, down over here, uh, change the distance and maybe the softness a bit. So I have this animation. Yeah, looks pretty good. And now let's create some more effect that's going to make it look even better. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to call the curves effect. I'm going to drop down the brightness and I'm going to take the ellipse mass tool. I'm going to create a big ellipse, a big circle, and I'm going to feather it. And now it looks like a shadow. But if I reverse the mask, I'm going to create a subtract. I'm going to have this something that looks like a car lights. And actually, I can take this mask and duplicate it, pressing Control D. And I'm going to move one over here and one over here. And I have actually something that looks like lights. Yeah, and a little bit of color. I'm going to call this layer light. And now I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to call this color correction. And I'm going to put curves again. And I'm going to take the red, drop it down, and maybe add a little bit more blues. Yeah, this looks pretty good. And Maybe I'm going to take the light. I'm going to move them to the side. I'm going to scale both of them down. I'm going to select both masks and scale them down. And put them right over here. And I think this is, this is about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, this tutorial. Don't forget to check our site and the tutorials and the blog and the products. Uh, and actually, new one is coming really really soon and don't forget if you want to be updated like us on facebook or subscribe to us on youtube and you can do it on instagram too but you know it's is congrats so that's it i'm milan thank you so much i'm gonna see you next time